Hi Confirmation class, this is uh, Father Mark. And while we're all stuck in our homes, I thought I would reach out to you today and send you this video letter. Um, so many of our plans have been put on hold because of this coronavirus. And this year for you was a very important year in your life and in your faith and in our church. And I'm sorry that your celebration of confirmation had to be postponed. I do know that our bishop is working hard, trying to come up with plans for how we can reschedule this beautiful event for some time very soon. A few days ago, I sent a video letter to second grade, and I shared with them some of the things that were important to me as a little boy. And I kept thinking, what will I show you when I was a teenager? And when I made my confirmation, I received gifts um, shirts, maybe, pants, none of them fit. Uh, people even gave me money, and the money's gone. And I thought, well, what did I do with that money? This is what I did with it. I bought these things. Okay, these are called records, okay? And this is a regular record, 45 RPM. It plays on a record player, uh, 45 revolutions per minute. And this one is called an LP. Cat Stevens, he was popular in the 1960s and in the 1970s, and this is a long playing vinyl record. And like I said, they played on machines that we called record machines. And if your dad was good, he bought you a hi-fi stereo record player, and you would take your, your records and you'd stack them on the machine and they would play one by one. It was like magic. One, the record would fall and it would play, and then after it was done, another record would fall, and it would play. And this is Paul Revere and the Raiders. So even in the 1960s, even though we were progressive youth, we were still very patriotic. huh? But you know, the records are all gone. Um, who has a record player? And uh, LPs did try to make a comeback, but I don't think that an LP can compete with music that's recorded electronically. And that's what happened to my gifts from confirmation, except for one, the most important gift of all. And it was the gift that God gave me when God put his Holy Spirit within me on the day of my confirmation. And you have seen that spirit at work. In fact, you have seen it working in all of our priests. Notice the four priests and our deacon, how different we are and um, how God works through us and speaks to us and how differently each one of us celebrate the Mass. The same thing, but it comes out differently. And this is something very important about when God gives us His Holy Spirit in that sacrament of confirmation. The Holy Spirit doesn't change us and make us mindless robots. Instead, the Holy Spirit takes our traits, our gifts, our talents, even some of our mistakes, and fills them with his life and makes them be full and orients them towards goodness and towards God. And that's the great gift of the Holy Spirit. And you've seen it at work in all of your priests, how different we are, and yet God's Spirit respects our characteristics, our traits, our, our gifts and talents, and how God uses them, not only to bless us, but to bless everyone around us. And this gift of the Holy Spirit um, actually comes from John's Gospel. And the one I'm going to pick is chapter 14, and it's verse 23. Jesus says, Anyone who loves me will keep my word, and my Father will love them, and we shall come to them, and we shall make our home in them. Anyone who does not love me does not keep my words, and the word that you hear is not my own. It is the word of the Father who sent me. I have said these things to you while still with you, but the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he will teach you everything, and he will remind you of everything that I said to you. Peace is my gift to you, a peace that this world cannot give. 
So do not let your hearts be troubled or afraid. Well, that's God's promise to you. And God wants to give you his Holy Spirit this year in the sacrament of confirmation. Not to change you and make you a mindless robot that follows all the rules, but to take the gifts and the traits that you have and to bless them and to give them a fullness that comes from when he shares his divine life to us. And as you've seen at work in, in your priests and deacons, God respects who we are. God respects us because God loves us. Now, as I said before, confirmation for you has been put on hold. But, and I've learned this as I've grown older, time is God's gift to us, for us to revisit things of the past, lessons that maybe we can look at again and try to get some more information, uh, time to make things right, uh, time to prepare. Time is God's gift to us. But you know, time also runs out. And you may have experienced it in school when you're taking a test and time runs out and you didn't have enough time to demonstrate what you really knew and who you really are. Time is God's gift to us. So I'm going to encourage you and invite you to take this time and get ready for the greatest gift that God gives you through his church. It is his Holy Spirit dwelling within you. People may leave you, but you will never be alone. God's Spirit will be with you, taking who you are if you allow God, and to raise your life by blessing you and by taking your gifts and filling your gifts with the gift of his presence within you. So during these days, you might want to revisit some of the lessons that you learned getting ready for confirmation. Maybe it's the saint whose name you chose for your confirmation. You know, in 1971, when I made my confirmation, I chose the name John from St. John, the beloved disciple. But you know what? I didn't know that St. John would take me up on that and that St. John would pray for me so that as I grew older, I didn't lose who I was, but I grew into being another beloved disciple of the Lord Jesus. So that saint is very important. That saint is going to accompany you. He's, that saint will pray for you and, and help you to grow closer to God. In these days, just take a breather, take this time that we have, and revisit the great gift that God wants to give you as he gives you his Holy Spirit to be with you forever and to lead you to him in all ways. I know that the confirmation will come. It's in God's hands. But right now, you ask him. He'll listen to you. You ask him to make it come and make it come soon. So let us close with a prayer. Heavenly Father, we ask you to send your Holy Spirit upon all of us. Deepen within each one of us the gifts that your Spirit brings so that we may have wisdom and understanding, that we may be reverent in your presence and turn away from the things that lead us away from you. Bless our parents, our teachers, our priests, our sisters, our church families, draw us closer to you. Make the gifts of your Holy Spirit alive and at work in us. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. All right. I'll see you again real soon. Bye now.